that when they play fast, they play the best. They're seventh in fast break points as well. So super important to get back. Uh, Aquilini versus drop coverage. They're oh. playing drop about 70% of the times. Edwards free in the corner. Short. Got his own. Little Euro flipped it up and off. May have been partially blocked. Blocks. Rudy Gobert's going to be right there. If Wemby doesn't block it, Rudy's going to be there for the putback and what a spin move on the baseline. That's what's so astounding. Bulls got off to a great start against the Spurs in the last meeting in San Antonio. Spurs went on a rally late to steal that game as Wim Binyama missing his first attempt. Sometimes it's just okay to triple out. You know, you don't have to always get to the basket or force the issue. Good cut that time by Champagny from the corner. Under 10 on the shot clock. Anderson driving on Champagny. Missed it, but the follow slam. Is right there with Wembenyama statistically. He's really rolls to the rim and can't get it to go. I mean, Wemby's averaging about three more points a game. And Kyle Anderson using the Gobert screen. Got it back. Couldn't finish. Wembenyama. I, I like the whole thing, though. I like the jerseys. I like the whole, you know, Cap tip to the lakes, 10,000 lakes here. It's such a huge part of the ecosystem here in Minnesota with this whole theme. Another turnover for San Antonio, and a foul is called. Three. Hand off to Gobert. Gobert spinning on Wimbledon. Yeah, but the bank and the slam! It is grim! Upside down for us. I like it. Here's when Vinyama mid range left it short. Take that with you. Oh, threading the needle. Beautiful feed from when Vinyama. It was. They built this lead by turning San Antonio over the points of turnovers. Go Bear. No. Still Unreal. looking for that first three of his career. Number one defense in the NBA. He's improved in all aspects of his game. Still a great three-point shooter. Win Binyama, first field goals. I don't even know how you pick a highlight package right now. Back through, it's just a wild finish in Cleveland. Reed lost the handle. David Guthrie didn't see it. And are we going jump ball? Yes, we will. He didn't shoot a left hand. <laughs> Speaking of that, he was with Victor Wimbanyama in the skills challenge. Shot clock winding down. The cell throws it out. Wimbanyama for three. Too strong. Wimbanyama, 11 points, nine rebounds, five assists. Can't hit the tray. It's been a lift. He's one of those guys that is such a great decision maker. He's a great cutter. He's a great mover of the basketball. Oh, student meet teacher. J Mack has been shot ready in this game. Minnesota doesn't have their zone buster out there in the form of Carl Anthony Towns or Kyle Anderson. Pull up three, too strong. Long rebound. When Binyama, deep, no good. And Gobert, another rebound. It's his that scheme, coaching, game plan. The way that Minnesota game plans, this coaching staff is the best that Minnesota's had. And Chris Clay, and Memphis is playing their butts off, too, by the way. They are playing hard for Taylor Jenkins. Lob to Gobert. Wembenyama finishing the lob. Alexander Walker on the attack, can't finish. Wembenyama the other way, his 11th rebound of the game. Down the lane, and man, he could have dunked that with his elbow. Gobert spinning, couple of fakes, putting it up and off. Gobert splits a pair. It took one of Wimby's blocks off, so he has three in the ball game. He's spotting up for three here. Too strong. Morris chasing down the board. In the lane. Pull up. Rolls out. Gobert 
Blocked by Wimbanyama, his fourth of the night. Outside and on.